is NBC Connecticut News at 11. Well, it is a medical mystery that has baffled experts. A dozen teenage girls at the same New York high school experiencing common symptoms like ticks, verbal outbursts, and stuttering. And now more cases are being reported, and the National Institutes of Health is asking questions about this case. Jared Scourin is a naturopathic physician and author of 100 Natural Remedies for Your Child. He's here this morning to shed some light on this situation, which he said could be a condition called pandas. Jared, thank you for being here. Oh, thank you very much for having me. All right, this is a, such a fascinating case for a lot of medical experts. First of all, what does PANDAS stand for? You think it's PANDAS. Well, it, the, the condition called PANDAS stands for Pediatric Autoimmune Neuropsychiatric Disorders Associated with Streptococcal Infections. What it is is a reaction after somebody has a strep throat or, or scarlet fever mm -hmm. where the body is trying to kill off the bacteria, the strep, but the bacteria of the strep just looks mm. just like part of our brain cells. And so now our, our body starts to attack our brain and we get these symptoms that we see. So parents really need to know what these symptoms are. How common is this condition? Have you treated children with pandas? I have, and I think it's more common than people think because it's often misdiagnosed as something else. People call it Tourette's, people call it OCD, people may even call it ADHD because the symptoms are so similar. So parents need to look out for the top symptoms. And the first symptom is some type of vocal tick as well as uh, a different neurological reactions and it always happens after somebody has a uh, strep throat or scarlet fever. When, it be, when does it become so serious that the parent should take them to their pediatrician? Uh, I would look for immediate onset of symptoms. So if all of a sudden a child is having these ticks right after they have a strep throat or uh, and again the ages are mm -hmm. in between three and puberty you want to watch for other neurological conditions. You also look for episodic symptoms where kids will get better and get worse, I would go to your pediatrician right away so that they can get the correct diagnosis. Now, what's interesting is that you say very importantly, kids suffering from pandas should not be given antibiotics, but often when you have strep, that may be something that, that the doctor gives you. Definitely. You want to take antibiotics for the strep. However, once the strep throat is gone, that's when these different ticks start to show up. So mm -hmm. the, the antibiotics are definitely good for the strep throat, but they're not going to help with these ticks. So the things that people use are a combination of conventional and integrative therapies. The conventional therapies focus on behavioral therapy and different drugs for OCD, and the integrative therapies focus on natural anti-inflammatories to help calm the immune system, as well as amino acid therapy to help with the ticks. How, so this is very curable? It's very treatable. Usually it goes away on its own after a period of months, but it can relapse if child has another strep throat infection. So you want to do as much as you can as soon as you can if you think you have it. Typically how long does this last? before it goes away. It's going to last about four to six months before it goes away wow. on its own without treatment. Four to six months. Yes. Wow. All right. Jared Scourin, thank you very much for your time this morning. Interesting perspective. Thanks, Joe.